and welcome back. So today I'm actually going to move my zebra plecos into their new home. So those who've been following me, you'll know that this is my new fish room, fish house, fish cabin, whatever you want to call it. I've had it built recently this year. The aquariums have arrived. I'm now able to move my zebra plecos out from this aquarium here and put them into this aquarium here. Now this aquarium I've got everything ready apart from the obviously I need to put the substrate in in a second we'll do that in a moment. I need to go get the caves and hides that they currently have in their aquarium and pop them in here as well. I'm going to use their water and um, you can see on here I've already got uh, an external filter set up ready to go. That's a 200 watt heater. These are the airline tubing ready for when I get their sponge filter and air stone over here. Um, so this aquarium itself is just under three foot in length. It's two feet front to back and a foot tall. So um, as anyone who knows about uh, catfish especially and move most fish, surface area is king. So um, this tank is boasting a lot of surface area for the uh, size of the fish which are going in the aquarium. Uh, so it's going to give them the best amount of oxygen uh, considering that they're going to have a very hot aquarium. So let's get started and making the aquarium look nice. All I'm wanting to do here is just have a very thin layer of sand. I don't want it to be too full because then you start having problems with waste getting trapped underneath and it being a pain to get hold of so I just want a really thin layer just so the plecos are saying that they can slightly burrow in and also just give them a nice feel rather than having just bare glass on, the, on their bellies. This is just normal aquarium substrate sand, natural fine sand. I always find the finer sand works better for plecos. I feel like it's nicer for them. Similar to with Corydoras Oh. Similar with Corydoras to have soft substrate to rest on. So here they are, uh, all six, all doing well. They've put on a lot of size. Looking from up above, I can see I've definitely got a female right there. Um, and the others, I can see a male, and some of the others are a bit difficult to tell at the moment, but it looks like I've got at least one certain male and female just by the body shape uh, that I'm looking at. Uh, so now to actually catch these guys and put them in the aquarium, I'm gonna have to use my hands simply because these guys get their Adontis stuck in nets, um, so whenever you catch in plecos it's much easier to just get them in a small shallow piece of water and then use a net. Not than use a net. Sorry. So they're in, there's one here. Um, so I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the water now, I'll let them settle in, and then I'll give you a couple of clips of them all at peace in their new home. So I've just connected up their old filter so that we can make sure the aquarium is fully cycled as they're in. So the old filter's just hooked up. Looks a bit ugly at the moment, but it's only gonna be on here for a couple of weeks. 
Oh, and just to be on the safe side, we're also going to add... So this is Fritz Zyme Turbo Start. Essentially it's just filled with beneficial bacteria just to give my new canister filter that extra kick to make sure that it gets cycled fast. So we'll add some of this now. So they're all settled in now, there's a bit of mess in here that came out of my previous filter so it doesn't make it look as nice but you can see they're all settling in under the wave plates in between the caves and now we'll just let them all get used to their new home. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.